everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News update. Our top stories today. A driver hurt after a high-speed chase that ended with a crash in Foxborough. This was a scene on Cedar Street. The car split in half. State police say the driver nearly hit a cruiser on 495 in Raynham early this morning, then led police on a chase, reaching speeds of over 100 miles an hour before crashing. That driver was taken to Boston Medical Center. No word on their condition. Charlestown town leaders give the green light for a controversial pot farm. The Board of Selectmen voted to move forward with a plan to turn an orchard into a large-scale marijuana grow farm, possibly the largest in the U.S. Opponents argue it's too close to schools and could cause traffic issues. Supporters say it will bring jobs and tax revenue to the town. Community centers are offering kids free breakfasts and lunches around the state this summer. Just because school is out doesn't mean kids under 18 can't get a nutritious meal. Many programs start as soon as school ends. Each center offers different meals, and you can get a full list at the USDA website. Danielle Niles is here with a look at your forecast. Pretty nice and summer-like, Danielle. Yeah, for this last full day of spring, Kate, I mean, summer officially begins tomorrow at 6.07 a.m. The temperature is going to feel like it today, lower to middle 80s. 70s on Cape Cod tonight. There'll be some rain along the south coast of Cape Cod that develops a little wave of low pressure that's going to be going by overnight tonight. We'll see how far north the showers can get. Maybe the south shore briefly. Temperatures overnight in the 60s, and then tomorrow will be cooler overall, running in the 70s for many of us. Still very pleasant, though, with any early morning showers ending on the Cape. Upper 70s inland, very similar on Friday. A beautiful end to the week. Humidity, by the way, the next several days will be low and in check. Saturday, the dew point does rise, though, so with the humidity comes some showers. It won't be a washout, but there'll be some raindrops to dodge on Saturday with highs in the mid-70s, 80s on Sunday with a pop-up shower or storm. Mid-70s to start next week, sunny and 80 on Tuesday, Kate. All right, Danielle, thank you. Thanks for watching. I'm Kate Merrill. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.